Hello everyone, I'm watching the video and today I'm going to be telling you how to customize your keystrokes and your CPS counter in Blocks.io. So Cyrex, Sudi from YT and YT King Dream all have made this video on how to get keystrokes and CPS counter for Blocks.io. And you might really like this and all, but you might want to customize it. So how you can customize your keystrokes is that once you've gotten, gotten your keystrokes, if you haven't gotten, gotten the keystrokes, I'll put this video of Cyrex's one in my description. Watch that first and you can see how to get keystrokes. Once you've gotten them, you'll be able to find this script. If you can't find it, it's in this page. It's in this page and how you find this page is when you press the extension button, press tamper monkey, press create new script, Go to file, press close, and you can see this page. But currently I'm on this one, and I have this one. And you might see this one too, and you might see it too. And what you can see is what you see, what I see right now. And what you have to do is go to 118 or so. Now this is what it will look like before you've pressed it. Now for you, it will look something like this. Now I'm just changing it because I've already changed it into my own custom settings. But this is what I've done. And at 118, you will look like yours one will look like this. By the way, if you're wondering how to find the numbers there, right like on the left side, left side. But um, go to 118 and you can find all of this stuff. Uh, key element style, the background color. You can see the word transparent. This is what your keystrokes will have the this is your keystrokes background color before you've pressed them and for me when i reload my, my page yep they're transparent background and on 121 key element st style dot color right here it says white and that's the font color see uh, you, you can see that it's white right now with a transparent background now this is what it will look like before you've pressed them so this you have to have these two weird marks on the side, but just change whatever you want in this. Like if you want it to be orange, press save, which is file and then save at the top and then reload your blocks.io page. And you can see that before I press them, it's orange. Now, once I press them, they will become black. Okay. But, um, the font is the same, you just change it to whatever color you want and it has to be in between these weird two marks on both sides, these two weird ones. Um, but once you've changed that, you can go on to 93 or so and you see like highlight event key green, highlight event key black. The top one is what it will highlight to when you press the key. So while I'm pressing it, you can see that it becomes green like right here it becomes green while I press it so this is what I will highlight to so you, again you can just change you to whatever you want like white or something press save reload the page and now when I press them they go white but the background color changes to black and that's exactly what this part does the second highlight key event it says black right here. It's really simple, just change to whatever th this wants to be. If, if you want it to stay transparent, just make it transparent. Press save, reload your blocks IO page. And when you press it, they become transparent. There we go, simple, easy. But then you find another issue and it's that LMB and RMB key. They are not changing. So you have to go to 101, and you see green green what do, what do these keys mean well if you go into the side it says lmb dot style background color that's what it will highlight to what the lmb key will highlight to while you're pressing it so you can change that and what rmb key e will highlight to you can change that too and at 110 you see the same thing but this one says black and this is what the lmb and rmb key will change its background color to when you press it it's really simple and that's all the background color and the font color stuff now let's go on to the crosshair so currently it's a fire crosshair 
how did I know that? Because um, I've firstly used this before, and also when you go down to the bottom at 308, you see my crosshair dot text context, and it says fire. So if you don't like this fire emoji, you can just change it. You have to have two colons, and in between these two colons, you have to put your number in. Not number, you can also make it an emoji, a sign, a word even, like word. If I make it word, when I reload the page, and when I join a lobby, okay, this is taking really long time. This lobby is not loading. Please load. Please. I beg you. Yes, finally. And my crosshair is Word. It says Word. Yep. It's Word. And you can change it to whatever you like, and it will become that. Yep, that's really simple. That's all you have to do. Just whenever you make a change, don't forget to press save and to reload your blocks on your page, or else it won't work. But thanks for watching.